What is up YouTube? Today we are installing speakers in my 2018 Toyota Tacoma. This is a third gen Tacoma. This so most likely will work with your second gen as well. But let's go ahead and work on the install. So for ease of installation so we can do this super quick, I went ahead and did the passenger side. I'll do the pa driver side with you and you'll just have to mirror it and do the exact same side on the passenger side. With that being said, I do have the passenger side front speaker out. And let me tell you, I've taken out probably old speakers out of like six or seven vehicles. This is the smallest little driver for the speaker I've ever seen. It's as big as a quarter. I mean, let me show you what the new one I'm gonna install is. That is a huge difference. That is insane that they let you do this here. So same thing with the uh, rear one as well. The rear one's even worse. It's just a tiny little plastic one and it's probably even smaller than what it shows in there. So insane difference. It's going to be a dramatic upgrade. Uh, a few things you'll need is obviously new speakers. I've got these really nice adapters. You want to get an adapter so you can properly secure it to your actual door frame. This allows for the speaker to be completely secure so it can actually protect project the uh, proper sound and then also adapters are really nice I've got these in the description below I've got all the parts in the description below um, and then also I have 150 Hertz uh, sound so or a reducer so it gets rid of anything from 150 Hertz or below which is really nice and this is my first time trying out some sort of like sound protection so i'm putting this behind the speaker here and you can see it's about quarter inch thick uh, foam here it's uh two pieces it looks really really nice stuff um, i'm excited to try it out it actually weighs a good amount for all four sides this is just for one speaker for all four sides it weighs about two and a half pounds so these weigh uh, quite a bit so I'm excited to see what kind of sound deadening it has it says it also improves um, your noise getting projected out into your vehicle so I'm excited for that tools you will need is some sort of like right hand I have an allen key just any size allen key so we can pop the door out to access the screw you want a 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips and a flathead now let's get started all right, first things first, what you want to do is go ahead and get this, see this little guy. Uh, usually I've always seen them, you get a flathead and you pop them out. This one you just go ahead and push in like that and it's good to go. Uh, inside here, there's this little trap door. Go ahead and get your Allen key in there. Inside here, there's a little trap door. Go ahead and get your Allen key in there. And then you want to go ahead and pop it out. Inside is hiding a nice Phillips. Get your Phillips. Set the screw down. And then in the actual door handle, this is the little felted carpet. And there's hiding another Phillips once again. Go ahead and get your Phillips in there. Pull it out. And then you can see I set these in order from tallest to shortest. So this one was higher up and this one was lower so I don't switch them. So when I put it back together, it's going to be real easy. Now we have the fun part, popping it off. Go ahead and just pull. Maybe on this corner. Takes a little bit of effort to pull those off and work your way around. Pop this guy off nice and easy. And 
the doors off. Now it's free. Now this is always really hard to show, but right underneath here, bring your thumb all the way to the back. Um, actually, now it's really hard to see, but bring your thumb to the furthest side facing the front of the vehicle. There's a tab, push that tab in and then wiggle and it comes out. For this guy, you can go ahead and just wiggle it out as well. There's nothing holding it in. This accidentally popped out. And now your door is free. Now we have access to the whole speaker system here. You're gonna go ahead and access So we can go ahead and pop this guy off right here. You just push this tab in and pull up and it's good. Remember, you got your 10 millimeter socket here. There's three screws for bolts. Now this piece of trash can go where it belongs. Now the fun part, how are we gonna put this sound detonating foam in here? Well, I thought about it a lot. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and bend it in there. Um, what I was thinking about is we have this big giant safety bar right here. And I was thinking about having two pieces, one in the lower section and then one in the upper section. But I think that was kind of defeating the purpose because this is just like a giant gu guitar string. You know making a, it's just gonna ring the whole door so I want to go ahead and peel it off in one giant piece and then slap it on there over this bar so let's go ahead and do it start the peeling process here fold it in half and then unfold it uh, not good keep the tape on for a little bit All right, now we can peel the tape off. Got the whole piece off. Let's go ahead and place this in the right spot, bring it over a little bit more. I'm gonna start at the bottom here. Press down to the bottom, bend it out a little bit so I can get around that bar. Wrap it around that bar, keep working my way up. And I really like using the wax paper, rubbing it around on all the edges so you get all that adhesive stuck onto the door panel. All right, now we've got our little connector here or adapter. So go ahead and test fit your speaker before you actually mount it on there. And you can see that it actually doesn't quite fit. So it looks kind of janky and everything. Pretty typical. It's not really going to fit. Um, what I've found is typically it's these little tabs right here. You need to go ahead and break these off. And they're actually um, pre just like cut right here. So you can go ahead and just snap it off. But I guess that's just in case you've got some tiny speaker you wanted to install. You can go ahead and do that. So go ahead and snap these off real quick. Being careful we're not breaking the whole adapter. And then we can go ahead and slap it on there and now it fits uh, nice and flush for us to install. So let's go ahead and install this. Little comparison here, as you can tell, just complete difference. I mean, it's just a huge difference in quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash that one. We've got our nice new speaker here. Here's our adapter. So you wanna go ahead and look at all three holes here and see they align up once again we'll have this adapter in the description below so you can have the exact same setup so now you want to go ahead and feed the wire through this tiny little hole for some reason toyota has the wires outside of the speaker it actually is pretty nice it's the first time i've seen that match the small one and small one here 
Now please consider subscribing. Only 1.2% of you are actually subscribed. Think about that. If just two or three percent more of you guys subscribe, I could get closer to that 20,000 mark. So please consider subscribing and helping out the channel. Thank you and keep on enjoying the video. And then you can see it's a little tricky. For some reason you want to put the red with the white but this one's too big so you want to go ahead and make sure it's uh, matched up here so get the small one on here slide the small one on go ahead and bring it all the way down and also go ahead and install there and then we can go ahead and slide everything in here line it up all right now to install the speakers I was able to line up one hole for the screw that came with the speakers onto the adapter but all the other screw holes don't line up so I actually had to drill this one as well um, I, I'm also drilling them in an angle too um, because the screws are so long it's actually hitting the back metal plate and pushing the adapter off of the um, metal door so I'm going in an angle so I just miss the inside here there we go so the stock one is probably gonna have to get moved Yep. So these aren't going in perfectly straight. So I'm gonna go have to drill this one too. All right, now that's looking pretty good. You can go ahead and plug in the connector so you're not doing any soldering or anything which makes a huge difference at this point go ahead and test and make sure the speaker actually worked now just to be extra safe I'm gonna go ahead and tape this just so I'm not getting a flapping noise when I'm driving go ahead and get the wire right there nice long piece of tape that won't have any problems hanging out there now it's time to put the door panel back on but bef before oh, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy back on I don't know if you noticed but this popped off when I was popping the whole panel off that is totally normal and fine just go ahead and snap it back into place here Just slides on. Snaps in just like that. You may have noticed too, I also have them kind of stuck in the door as well. I have two of them. So go ahead and get yourself a pair of needle nose. Pop them off. So I went ahead and popped one of them off already. Just be careful and go ahead and look for a spot just like this an empty spot you can go ahead and slide it back in listen for that snap and you're back into place so here's the other two locations lastly i highly recommend grabbing these three tabs out so you go ahead and squeeze it like this and pop them out just like that and they go right here so here's the first one just snaps on here's the first one just snaps on just like so and put them all back on here just like that because um, if you try to snap it in there this thing will pop into your door and it'll be gone forever ask me how I know all right now we finally have all the clips back on so it's time to place the connector back on luckily it's in the same orientation just go ahead and feel the same hole 
listen for the click do a nice little test pull that's just cheap insurance and then slide your handle here through the hole in the place it's kind of like a giant plus sign that's like helps you lock it in over here it just kind of hangs out the screw is what actually holds it into place so go ahead and bring your door all the way up to the window push it up make sure it's a little bit high and then bring it down you want to make sure this is set into place first so that looks like so this is all in line and it looks set this is probably one of the last parts you want to push in these guys I will go ahead and go all the way around and make sure they're snapped in there so let me go ahead and do that You can go ahead and do another little test pull. Everything looks like it's in there and it's happy. Click these guys in. So this trim piece is very happy. That's always good news. And for this, for this little guy, make sure you go ahead and push it out so it's sticking back out. Slap it in there. And then you want to put it in the flat spot and now it's locked. Lastly, we have our two screws here. I have them placed on my floor mat here. The lower one goes to the lower screw, which makes it easy to remember. It's also the real fat guy goes into your door jam or your door handle. Tighten that back up. Your nice, smaller, thin guy lines up here holds your handle I can hear the gear opening that looks like it's still connected this would just be very loose if it wasn't and then go ahead and put your nice door panel cover in there you want to open this up all the way just push in right here and then you can hear it lock in there's like a little spot where it clips in and put your little velcro guy or this little piece of carpet back in here and you're officially done with the backside speaker setup good work subscribe subscribe and subscribe one more time don't forget to go do that but i also have the front speaker installed that i know you're looking for and lastly i also have a complete in-depth comparison between the old speakers and the new speakers so don't forget to check out that video and always just thank you for watching and supporting the channel i really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one